Hi, I'm Karen and I'm a local artist. I'm here at the amazing free gallery at The Point, which is right here in the centre of Doncaster. I'm going to show you how to use three different blending techniques all together on one picture to create a flower using charcoal. For this exercise, we're going to produce a charcoal drawing of this flower and we're going to be using three different technique, blending techniques using a paintbrush, tissue and charcoal dust. We have a video for each of these techniques if you want to find out more. The first thing you need to use is a black and white photograph. If you have a photo you want to use which is in colour, just convert it into black and white. It'll make it a lot easier to work out where your light, mid and dark tones are. You need to gently sketch with a pencil the outline of your flower and then you can begin with the charcoal. The first thing we need to do is the background. Take a piece of charcoal and hold it on the side and you need to rub the charcoal around the flower and to fill in the background. Don't be afraid to go in different directions. You're aiming for a grainy effect that's not too dark. Now you've covered in all the background, you should have a nice grainy effect going all the way around the flower. You're now ready to use your tissue paper around your finger, which you could then use to blend the background. You can use circular motions going up to each petal. Now you've blended all the background with your tissue paper, hopefully you'll have a nice smooth finish, a little bit like the background on this picture here. If you want to keep the edges of your picture clean, then you can just use a little bit of scrap tissue paper instead of putting your fingers directly onto your page to be able to then move your picture around and hold your paper down. We're now going to add the darkest areas of the flower in with using a piece of charcoal. You want to hold your charcoal near the end and add in all the dark areas. To create these darker areas you do need to press quite firmly with your charcoal. Now once you've done all the darkest areas we can move on to the mid-tones. The main mid-tones on this picture are up through the middle of these petals here and the whole centre of the flower. I'm going to add some gentle strokes by gently dragging the charcoal up each petal. I'm looking at all the lines that are on the petals here, and that's what I'm trying to recreate. I'm going to go in with my brush now, I'm just going to gently break up the dark tones here. I'm also going to blend out some of the mid-tones on the petals. Because the petals look really smooth, I'm going to use the tissue to smooth out the charcoal in these areas. Now I'm going to concentrate on the middle of the flower and I'm going to use the charcoal stick and use a little bit of stippling technique. I'm moving the charcoal around the centre of the flower to create the different tones. I'm just going to add a little bit more dark to the centre so it reflects the depth of tone in the picture. So now I'm going to use some charcoal dust with my brush so I can add some more detail into the petals. I'm just concentrating on the areas that are darker on the picture. I'm using the brush quite delicately so you can create the delicate lines of the petals. Now I've finished adding the charcoal dust with the brush, I'm going to clean up the edges of the petals using a rubber. So I'm looking at my picture, I'm looking at the areas that stand out as really quite bright white and they're the areas there where I'm going to take off the charcoal. 
The rub is good for also cleaning up the edges of the shape of the petals. I'm just cleaning off any bits of charcoal that stick to my rubber just on this scrap piece of paper. And there you have your finished flower. So that's three different blending techniques to create one picture. I'm really happy with that. 